Um, just a quick video about our wood-fired boiler. Um, this boiler, I, I, I don't know its providence. There's a you know inspection on it and such, but um, I think it's a Royal. It has really good cast iron rocker grates in it, so I suspect, and it's got a sloped bottom, so I suspect it was made for wood or coal. Um, one of the things I really like about it is when I do a burn overnight, I get a lot of charcoal, which is the unburnt but reduced uh, wood, especially because I'm burning all hardwoods. When I pull out the ash pin in the bottom and hit the rocker grates, uh, the ash falls out and I get a lot of charcoal left behind. And when I draft it like this, that blue flame and the like from the bottom is the charcoal burning and it is the hottest flame you're going to get in the boiler so if you have something like this and you're getting charcoal don't waste it <laughs> that charcoal is really the best fuel you've got and what i'm doing right now is uh, i have a temp gauge on the flue and i'm bringing it back up again to heat up the flue and improve the draft. Once the draft gets back to where I want it, which is pretty much, it's pretty hot, but once that draft is up, uh, I'll load it with wood and I'll leave for the day. Um, anyway, just wanted to say, if you, uh, you have something like this that's a semi-airtight, not completely because you have the, uh, even when the door's closed, you have where the rocker goes inside, air shoots through there, it makes a very nice jet, you're going to get a lot of charcoal. And that charcoal is really good fuel, so don't lose it, don't waste it. I use the blower a lot to reduce charcoal. It keeps the flue warm. Our flue goes all the way through the house, so the mass upstairs helps to heat the house. Anyway, that's my little thing about loving um, charcoal, you know, natural charcoal from the hardwood. Oh yeah, yeah, this is good stuff. Okay, good day to you all. That's it.